Hello everybody, my name is Chilling Fire, and today I'm going to be showing you how, a few tricks that you can use on a MacBook Pro, um, a MacBook Pro's trackpad, and there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. So, the first thing you can do with a trackpad, like some tricks with it, the first thing you can do is to secondary click, like right clicking on a mouse which will open up men menus and stuff and the way you do that is take two fingers and then you go on the trackpad and then you click uh, two fingers on the trackpad and the menu will pop up like you did a secondary click and you can put it over an item and then it'll do the options for that another thing you can do is actually look up a word if you don't know uh, what the word is if you find it on the internet or in a book and all you need to do is hover over the word take three fingers and just tap on the word and then it'll go to like a dictionary and a thesaurus and you can go on wikipedia about what the word is so that kind of stuff so if you don't know what a word is you can just look it up like that if you want to move around windows on your desktop or anything like that without having to click on the trackpad all you have to do is take three like you have to go to the bar on the window and take three fingers and you could just like slide it around like that and it'll move around and you can put it wherever you want so it's a lot more simple to do that if you want to scroll on a page or something like that you need to take two fingers and slide your fingers in the in the direction you want to scroll in and this is very useful for web pages or anything like that without having to go to the scroll bar if you want to zoom in or zoom out of a page you take two fingers and basically pinch outwards or inwards wherever like uh in whatever way you want to zoom in or stuff like that and wherever the cursor is when you're doing it, that's where it's going to zoom in or zoom out. So that's one way you can zoom in really easily without having to go to like the settings or stuff like that. If you want to zoom in a lot faster, there's a thing called Smart Zoom, which will uh, zoom in a lot faster onto a page. And all you need to do is take two fingers and double tap, and wherever the cursor is, it'll Smart Zoom, and it'll zoom in a lot faster on a page. If you want to rotate a picture, all you need to do is take two fingers, like hover over the picture and take two fingers and rotate them in the direction you want to rotate the picture if like you're looking at a picture. And you can do the you can do it both ways and it's a bit tricky to master, but it's very useful. If you want to go to the last web page you were on, take two fingers and swipe right. Then, then you'll go back. If you want to go forward a page, then take two fingers and swipe to the left, and that will go to the other page. And you can just swipe in, like you could swipe in between them. If you want to go to your notification center, you need to take two fingers and actually start on the outside of your touchpad and swipe to the left, and then your notification center will pop up, and you can look at it. And you actually need to put your fingers on the outside of the trackpad for it to work, which is a special feature that's on the uh, notification shortcut. If you want to go to your mission control, take four fingers and swipe down, and you'll go to your mission control where all the uh, apps that you have open will pop up and you'll see which ones are open. If you want to go to your launch pad, which has all your apps, take uh, three fingers and your thumb, and then pinch inwards, and then you'll go to your launch pad, which has all your apps, and to get out of it, you just you know, pinch outwards, and you'll get out of the launch pad. If you have a bunch of windows on your desktop and you want to see your desktop, then take uh, three fingers and your thumb, like the last trick, and pinch outwards and you'll see your desk desktop and like all your windows will be moved out of the way if you have a lot of windows and it's useful if you want to just see your desktop for some reason 
Okay guys, so that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope the tricks helped with like your productivity on your Mac. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys in the next video.